Welcome to the September edition of the Daisy Chain and spring has sprung here at Turak. The ivy is finally starting to appear on those walls and just in time for us to celebrate the end of a term together, but also get ready to welcome our students back. And today I am joined by two fabulous students who I have been watching some of the works they have been producing over several months. And Jess, I'd love to start with you today Year six exhibition is such a combination of so much uh, discovery, research, presentation skills. How did you enjoy the process? I chose a topic that I didn't know anything about and the research I learned was so fascinating and all about sleep, which was my exhibition topic. Tell me a little bit about your exhibition topic because it's one that is a bit of a favourite topic of mine too. What did you learn about sleep when you were working through your exhibition? I broke it up into three sections and my first one was all about like the cycles, so like the REM stage and like light and deep sleep and looking about how that impacts on the body. And then my mm -hmm. second, I looked into insomnia and so like mental health perspective of sleep and how it connects to our health and the insomnia illness. And then the last stage was mostly about the diet. And that really fascinated me the most about the food that impacts our sleep and the diet. You made me do a Kahoot quiz at the end and I felt like I learned a little bit about diet and sleep as well. So tell me, how have you changed your sleep habits based on what you've learned? Well, I learned about this, this section of sleep called the sleep window and it's where we're tired. And I've really noticed that stage and it's this 90 minute stage where we should go to bed. And I've been taking the time to realize that I'm going through that stage and I need to go to bed and get enough sleep so I can be rejuvenated for the next day. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Jess, because there's always something else to do, right? But listening to our bodies and hearing about that. Um, the other part of your presentation, Jess, which was so professional, um, I really loved your action what was it that that you've decided to do as a result of your learnings i really want to create a podcast um sharing my research through audio and i'm gonna like dive deeper into the research i've already gathered and then taking surveys so i can get personal experiences with sleep and real life situations mm. i loved that idea and i couldn't think of a better segue over to our other guest today hannah and as part of a culmination of your work this year, you've put together the most incredible piece for media. How did it feel to actually share those pieces with so many members of our community last week? It was so exciting. I think it was a real silver lining to be able to like share it with people other than our families because I know that um, normally they would have just had like yourself and maybe your parents or your grandparents come into the lecture theatre, but um, one of the good things to come out of COVID is that we've been able to share it with so many more people. And I, I think it went really well and I think it was really accessible for everyone. So I think that, and it was really nice to be able to share it with people who live far away or normally couldn't have made it. So it was, it was so, and it was so lovely to see everybody there. I wonder why we've always been restrained in accessibility. And, and, and so it was a beautiful lesson in uh, how far our reach can go and, and for people to see the work you've created. But I kept thinking as I watched all of them was, wait a minute, how have they filmed this in lockdown? Or And it occurred to me, you must have planned this so long ago and jumped on windows throughout the year. Is, is that kind of what happened? Yeah, so I know that we had, it was insane. I think there was only one or two girls that unfortunately like really missed out due to COVID, but um, a lot of us filmed um, the final week of term two or the first week or two of holidays, which I know that that we were back in a stage where we were able to film in certain places. But um, yeah, I was um, on the phone to a, a uni director the other day and I was explaining, I was like, hey, I've just finished my folio and I'm happy to just like send in my sat and my folio work. And they said, you are the only person we've spoken to in six weeks that has been able to say that. So, and, I, and they were like, all asking about like have you guys been affected and I was like no nah, our class was right on the ball and Mr Crew was so organized so um, Hannah you've just you've just mentioned something that's kind of a bit spectacular as well you know I've just been on the phone to somebody at a university tell me what have you just heard in the last week I was doing an online interview with JMC and they offered me a spot for 2021 so I'm 
really, really excited. What is JMC, Hannah, for those that are not so au fait with all things creative arts? So JMC is like a private institute and they're um, very like film and music and arts kind of directed. Um, I'm going there for maybe my film and TV course. So yeah, um, it's, it's a very practical and very hands-on course. Charlotte Baker goes there. She was a year 12 last year, so yeah. Couldn't be more proud of you. I think we have said this to so many um, of our senior students that this time has afforded new opportunities. And instead of looking back, continue to look forward and sideways and in the air and all around because yeah. there are opportunities to be gained from this time. And, and I'm so thrilled for you and, and incredibly proud of your work. And um, Jess, of course, looks forward to um, one of the first big pieces of production you produce. Now, Jess, tell me, finishing up, we are about to finish term three. Fantastic. Has there ever been a longer term for you? How have you felt um, this term's gone? There's probably been never been a longer term. It's been really challenging, but I'm really glad that it's come to an end, but I've learnt so much and I'm really glad I got to still do exhibition, even though it was a bit different um, over, the, over the computer. Yeah, absolutely. Everything was a bit different, but it has been a sensational term here in term three. And of course, now all of our attention turns to term four we have so much to celebrate. And I th think as you've heard the girls talk about today, where we think about doing things a little bit differently, using this unique opportunity that time affords us to take um, and extending our reach right throughout our students, parents and broader community in everything we do. We look forward to notifying you over the school holidays of all of the term four plans when that information comes to light. Uh, and ladies, I cannot thank you enough for your positivity and your creativity this term um, and can't wait to see you back in person in not too many more weeks now. I wish everybody else a very happy holidays. Goodbye.